Hello guys, it's the boy here, Louie, and we're on part three of learning about F1. And remember, it's my dad's channel, and I'm just helping out on the channel. Remember that. This is a special day for me because it's my birthday. And we have a special guest today, and that person is Ollie Man! Woo! And here, what's up, guys? Subscribe that comment and put a comment in the bottom and don't forget to subscribe it Woo! yeah I don't know how to subscribe or comment but that's okay and remember this smash the like button and become one of my viewers now before we start I just want to say one more thing that my dad is a professional engineer in Arthur and Mayo so let's give him a clap for doing that well done! Woo! Okay, we come on to the screen. Now, let's go to the questions. I go first. Now, Papa, how do you become a F1 driver or engineer? Short story, please. Start with F1 so, engineer. F1 engineer, you have to study mechanical engineering and work very well at school. Okay, an F1 driver? F1 driver, you have to start in karting, and if you are good enough, you progress to Formula Renault, Formula 3, Formula 2, and finally Formula 1 if you are good. Also, do you get the choice if you start in, in like Formula Renault, then F3, F2, and then F1? Well, you don't always get the choice, it's difficult. You have to find the right sponsors, and the right connection, and the right people to allow you to reach F1. Interesting, Papa. Thank you. Now it's my friend Ollie Mike's question. Who do you think is the best dr driver of all time? Well, my favorite driver was probably Ayrton Senna, one of the greatest drivers of all time, and, according to me. Um. So basically, <coughs> how about Michael Schumacher? Excellent, seven-time world champion. Very, very good as so, well. So according to my calculations, you are basically. Your favourite champion is Ayrton Senna and Michael Schumacher is the actual champion to lose so far. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Okay, now it's, is it time for one of my questions? Yeah. Less it is. Now, how do you feel at the start of a race, Papa? Very excited, a lot of adrenaline and a lot of pressure. Yeah, it must be very hard for Lou. It is, it is very hard, like, yeah. Looking at all the drivers getting set up and the lights going. I know, it's very, it, a lot of pressure and a lot of to stress. To me, when I watch TV of F1, I just feel like, you know how usually you're worried in time. I know. I'm very worried in time, Wombies. Um, 2019-2020, that was when the most crashes happened. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so... It's time for another Volley Month question. When Kenny Riken shouts at you, you is it is it like when a teacher shouts at you? <laughs> no, he's not my teacher or he's nothing to do like this. So it's true that he can be a bit blunt on the radio. Or maybe us? But no, no, he's very different. He's never personal or anything. It's just his way to react to a certain situation. But no problem. He's very different to a teacher relationship. I'm not very sure about that. Me too. Now, time for another one of my questions. And this is also the final question. Now, what do you think of George Russell and which teams do you think the drivers will be in next year? Well, I think George has a good chance to go to Mercedes next year. After, who is he going to replace? Probably Valtteri Bottas, but I don't know where think, he will end up. I think Valtteri Bottas will end up in Williams. Is a possibility, oh, yes. But who will go into Alfa Romeo? There's a lot of switches. Ah, I don't know. The There's year. a lot of question marks at the switches. moment. Very interesting. Now it's time for Ollie's final <laughs> question, and then I'll go to the end. What is your favourite track and why? Probably my favourite track is Spa because it's the most challenging for the driver. I thought Monaco. Also, Monaco is very challenging. Right? Okay. The Papa likes Spa the most. Now, that is all we have time for today, guys. Also, and one thing. Yeah, okay. One yeah. thing. If what if it was a very good challenging for the for the one drivers. I think it's very challenging too. It is very challenging, yeah. 
Le Monaco isn't my favourite track because it's so every year it gets shorter and the drivers get bigger. <laughs> yeah, the cars too. get bigger. Soon yeah. that track will get um bad. <laughs> I know. Now that is all we have time for today. Yeah. Now rem I just want to tell you to hit that subscribe button again and become one of my viewers. Goodbye. Bye bye. 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 bye.